Hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. It's just a quick video I wanted to show you. Now this is the Reef Tiger RGA 3035. I know that bezel is bothering some of y'all. <laughs> but I wanted to do a quick video just kind of touching base on how to swap the strap out for this watch. So you notice with those hexagonal screw tubes it's not as simple as just you know using a spring bar or even using a small screwdriver you're going to need a special type of driver now you can actually purchase the aftermarket blanc pond hex screwdrivers um, usually sold as one or a set but they're very expensive they're going to range anywhere from 30 to 60 dollars to just swap out a simple strap so this is the original strap that came on the reef tiger Let's see, we have Reef Tiger branding there on the inside. And this thing has definitely shown some wear over the year um, or so that I've had it. It's starting to fray a bit. And so I wanted to upgrade it to the Artem straps. And this here is a 22 millimeter strap. So keep in mind that normally the Blanc Pont 50 Fathoms is a 23 millimeter strap, but for the Reef Tiger, it is a 22 mil strap so any aftermarket straps that you purchase you're going to want to use a 22 mil now i did a full review on the artem straps really great straps guys this sailcloth material super comfortable zero break-in period so you can check out the full review up here which i highly recommend i personally didn't want to spend 20 30 40 50 dollars just to swap out the straps on this watch so what i ended up buying was this right here and I'm going to link it here. This was, I think, 10 bucks for the set. So very inexpensive in comparison. And the cool thing is the two that you're going to need are actually this one right here, the 0 0.05 and the 0 0.035. So I'm going to take those out. And the reason you need both is because if you just use the, the right size is this one here, the 0 0.035. But if you just use this and try and take out that hex screw it's just going to spin freely so what you need to do is use this 0 0.05 one and i just set it up on this mat just to put pressure so as long as you put pressure on the bottom here coming up then you can use the right size and just twist it keep going so just to show you you'll know it's working because it'll start to come out of the lug itself so just keep at it now at this point you want to be very careful because you don't want to lose this. So this happens to be the side with the tip. Very, very, very small. So that is the piece you do not want to lose because if that drops, bounces, or rolls onto the floor, you're going to have a hard time relocating it. So I'm going to set that over here as it rolls off. Okay, so I'm just going to set that there. But basically, this is the other end of the lug and then just go ahead and push that through. You'll notice that the tube comes all the way out. It doesn't matter which side you take the um, screw tube portion out of, this same one you'll see here, it can be unscrewed. So really the main thing is just keeping pressure on one of the two and then unscrewing the other. And you can see just very basic screw tube. Now, if you ever did want to purchase a replacement screw tube, the size that you're going to want to order from tip to tip is 28 millimeters and it is only 1.3 millimeters, 1.2 millimeters thick on the tube and the screw portion, the very tip of it is one and a half millimeters. So those are the dimensions of the screw tube in case you need to purchase replacements for this part. Um, the price varies depending where you get it, but just something I wanted to point out. And now, as you can see, we can go ahead and replace the strap and then you just repeat the reverse, put the screw tube in all the way, put that tip in, put pressure on one end and screw it back down. So that easy. All right guys, there you have it. A quick strap swap on the Reef Tiger RGA 3035. Again, if you haven't seen my review, check it out up here. Um, one of my favorite watches in the collection. And if you have not entered my giveaway, we are giving away a free watch for hitting 2,000 subscribers. Again, thank you to everyone for being a part of the Schwartz Force. So make sure you enter 
the giveaway. You still have time. I'm going to keep that open until through Saturday night. I will close it off on Sunday and then of course hold the drawing for the winner and announce it on Monday. So enter the drawing up here. I'm also going to put it in the description down below. So share it with all your friends and family. Get a chance at winning a free Gallant watch. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel a ton. And I really do appreciate that. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Until then, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.